How is everyone doing today? I'm currently doing pretty good, because I have some plans for today that I think are going to be pretty fun. Hey, Ron. Hey, Pyro. So for this stream, we are going to gamble more in Path than we ever have before. But first of all, for those who are new to the stream, I'm Black Cat. I mainly stream Path of Exile as well as other dungeon crawlers and RPGs. I have a YouTube channel and we now have a tip box or tip jar. You can see it right below the stream on the uh, channel page where you're watching. If you want to send a tip for Whatever reason, I don't, I don't know why people would tip me for doing this, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, I have some plans. First one is, and I'm just going to jump right into this. I have a vortex of projection here. This is a transfigured gem. 2020. It is worth two div uncorrupted. It's worth about 100 chaos corrupted. If you get a level 21 version, they are worth 22 div. So they be become worth 11 times the value, or they drop by half. That is the, that is the gamble here. So I'm going to start off the stream with the biggest gamble I have ever done. And we are going to gamble as Vortex of Projection. What does everyone think? Does anyone think... How, how does everyone think this is going to go? Who thinks I'm going to get a level 21 gem? And make big money. There's also a 2023 too that I could get. Ah, you believe Pyro. If this gets becomes a 2120, I have almost enough for a mage blood. I'll rub it for good luck. I know it's not a genie lamp, but we'll see what happens. Okay. And we shall find out what will it become. Unveil. Oh my god, it's a 2120. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh... Okay, I need to be able to to show what like the value of this. Okay, away can feel we trade. Okay. Okay, swapping over. So this is worth. Well, okay, there are some that are that are listed for a bit less, but I don't believe those to be true. This is worth twenty div. And we're sitting at eighty div right now, which will bring us up to a hundred. Mage blood started eighty five. What? That's a lot of money! <laughs> that is a lot of money! Holy shit! Thank you so much! That's... 
That's a lot of money! Wow, okay. And here I thought there would be absolutely no point adding tips, but I was like, hey, might as well add it. Who knows, maybe I'll get a tip, like, six months from now for some weird reason. Thank you so much! That is so much! Man! I'm sorry, that's- I'm just a bit floored right now. You're welcome! I'm absolutely happy to make this content regardless whether you're paying me or not. Thank you so much! That's very kind of you. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't expect that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, brain. Uh going back to the the to the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch swap over to my other character. Cause he has the rest of what we're gambling. So what do y'all think about this? I have six Voidborn Reliquary keys. And all of these are tier 17 maps. I have a tier 17 Mesa, Dunes, Tropical Island, Crimson Temple, and Ivory Temple. The first one we're going to be doing is the Unholy Apex for the Foil Replica Dragon's Flight, or Dragon Fang's Flight. Area contains a Smuggler's Cache. Area smuggler's Caches and areas are guarded. All Smuggler's Caches must be open to claim reward, all strong boxes in area must be open to claim reward. Area becomes fatal after some time. Only opens one portal to the area. Portals to area close over time. Maximum number of uh, players in area is one. And ten additional guarded Vol vessels. So, I'm timed. And I have a lot of shit to do. <laughs> You know, I'm probably not going to get much many drops from this. I'm just going to focus on the actual stuff I'm doing. I'm going to go for my uber, uber strict filter because I do not give a shit about anything else going on. My focus is to do the map. Okay, so I need to do this map quickly. I need to open every smuggler's cache and every strong box. I need to defeat... 90% of the monsters, all the rares, and all the uniques. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, that's, that's, that's a lot <laughs> to do at one time. You know, let's, let's just do, do I have a normal ivory temple? Not inferi, ivory. Let's do a normal Ivory Temple map. So this one's pretty ass as far as Ivory Temple maps go. That's fine. This other one's going to be worse. I don't care. I'm going to do a normal Ivory Temple map first. Just as a refresher. Because I haven't played this character in a couple weeks now. She's got well over 10 million DPS, though, so she's going to be strong. I 
need to remember that I have to be moving through this as quickly as possible. Th this actual map, I don't actually need to move through quickly, but I'm going to pretend that this is the tier 17. Just for the sake of practice. Oh, this is the one with the crazy area on the side. That's going to be dangerous. Thankfully, this is the, the, the permafreeze build. Okay, that acceleration shrine at the start really was uh, quite the boon, I gotta say. I need to remember that this place is pretty big. I'm just skipping the altars because this because I'm doing practice stuff. Oh, fuck, Soul Leader. I hate Soul Leader mobs. Yeah, I'm gonna need to be pretty bold with this map, unfortunately. Fifteen monsters remain. That would be enough to clear the map. Did I loot lo this stuff over here? Is that where it is? Okay, so that would have been enough to clear that map. I mean, okay. I, there's going to be a lot of strong boxes and such in the actual Valdos. Okay. There's one smuggler's cache. At least one. And ten uh, ball vessels. Okay, so a whole lot of strong boxes to open up. And I need to do this map fast. Okay, first tier 17 map for a foil replica Dragon Fang's flight on Holy Apex. Fissure. Do I need to do things like the the Legion? I don't know if those count. I should probably know that. That would actually real that's really kind of important to know.
Holy shit! What was that? That was a Vol Blade Vortex! Well, that map's gone! <laughs> Hmm. Well, let's hope not. Here's what I'm going to do. I have a bunch of these Blood Shadow Dune maps. I'm going to do a bu one of these just uh, for more, some more practice. Okay, can't evade. Uh... Uh, monsters inflict malediction and grasping vines, so I'll get slowed down at, and do less damage and take more damage. I gain instability as I kill things, and that eventually will cause me to detonate, and rare monsters have three additional modifiers. Okay, I have a lot of instability now. Wait, do I have to keep up the... Oh no, do I have to keep killing things so that I don't blow up? Oh no! If that's true, that's awful! That's mean. I have nearly 300 stacks of instability, though. So if I blow up, I blow up big. Thankfully, I have a lot of damage and protection via the, uh, freeze. Oh, shit. <laughs> the instability got me. Fuck. These are mean maps. And here I thought I had moved fast enough that I would be fine. No. No. Don't fucking lag. Ow. Okay, so I had 47 stacks there and I just died instantly as well. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if it matters how many stacks you have, you'll just die if you blow up. So I have a three second timer. I wish I was one of the bills with temporal chains on me. Because that would actually help a lot. Because it would make my, uh, my debuffs last longer. Okay, so there is no amount of of instability I can have and, like, explode safely. I can't dis discharge it. I have to keep moving. Okay, so the danger here is not the monsters. It's the instability. You can hit me if you want. I have to make sure that you keep dying. Shit. Okay. 
I'm okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, so you have to somehow clear the map systematically, because if you go backwards and you find an area with no monsters, you're fucked. Wait, I just had an idea. Wait, I just have a dumb I just had a dumb idea. Writhing jar. I can make monsters. Uh, I don't really want to lose any of this stuff, but hmm. Hmm. I wonder what damage type it is, if it's just true damage, or what? The problem is I don't really have a lot of control over how many stacks I get, because my totems auto-fire. I don't have a single build that I can control what I kill. Like, finally. Is it called unstable? Not that one. It's just called instability. Hmm. All those puzzle box, PoE. What damage type is instability? If it's chaos damage, then there's a very easy way to deal with that. But I doubt that they would do something that stupid, because, like, that's... That would be too... That'd be too easy. Yeah, I'm not seeing much information about this. Oh my gosh, Ron! What the heck? Thanks for the content, Cad. Happy to see how well the channel's been doing. Please get Fork. I I will get Fork. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Cool. Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's pause the stream to do this, actually. <laughs> Okay, Borg. Wait, no. <laughs> I need to spell it right if I don't say it right. Okay. Well, you, you paid for it, so... You get to tell me which, uh... 
which frog you want. So we have the Deep Water Forg. We have the Madcap Hypnotic Forg. Or Toad. Toad. We have the Green Forg. We have Toad. The Hypnotic Toad. An orange or red one. We have Red Forg. We have Ice Forg. We have Fire Forg. We have Blue Forg. And last but not least, we have the three Royal Forgs. We have Royal Blue Forg. And we have Royal Green Forg. And we have Royal Red Forg. Lots of Forgs. If there's any, any of them that you want me to click on and like show you more of, I can. Royal blue, okay. Where are you? That should have equipped him. I don't want to see him. Hold on, let's go back. Oh, I saw him for a second. There he is! Oh my gosh, look at his little crown! No, I, I want it very hard to see. My character's very grossly opulescent. Look at the Forg! He has a crown! Yeah, follow me. Follow me, friend. Hop, 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 hop. Thank you for the Forg. I, I will tell you, though, that was a $5.50 fork. I, if you ever, if anyone ever regrets tipping me, I'm sure there is some way that I can refund you if, if needed. But, like, this is not, this, this was only, this was only a $5.50 fork, so, just so you know, to be fully transparent... Seriously though, y'all are way too generous. <laughs> okay, Forg. You have a job today. You have a job, you are going to be my lucky Forg. We're gonna take a quick break from what we've been doing, and we're gonna open a reliquary key. And we're going to hope for a blessing upon the Forg. Okay, King Forg. Frog to all the Frog people. Your Majesty, God Incarnate. Upon which the Halo glowing crown lives. I ask you to bless thee, to bless this Voidborn chest. And not have horrible lag. Oh, okay. I ask you to bless this chest and deliver me a mage blood. Or well, just deliver me good fortune. I won't I won't ask for anything too specific. I know you're not completely omnipotent. But I ask I ask for that you give me your strength for this. A quarterstaff. Okay. That's exciting. Is that an annihilating light? I think that's an annihilating light. Those are actually, like, pretty meta relevant, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's an annihilating light. Holy shit, it's almost perfectly rolled too. This might actually be really valuable. Uh Okay, um 
Let me see if I can look this up. Annihilating light. Foil variant. Any void one variant. Uh, there is a comparable one for a 20C. I mean, I've gotten a number of ones that are just completely worthless, so that's actually pretty good in my opinion. I could... Uh, how much is a 6 link? I could 6 link it. Just, and then sell it as that. Oh my gosh, they started at like 8 div for the 6 linked ones. Yeah, there, there's a perfect one for 8 div that's 6 linked. I could probably get a few div out, out of this if I 6 linked it. God, that is really pretty though. It's, it's actually really meta relevant as well. Thank you so much, Forg. You helped me. You did very good. I, w I would feed you something, but I don't know how. Here. Eat this cat. No. <laughs> Wait, no. I, ha I have a Weta. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Weta. I, I can't search it. Pets. There we, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna put... Okay. There is a Weta there. Frog? Frog? Here. No. No, your food's over here. Yep, go get him. Yeah! Yeah, that's your food. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh. We have fun here. Okay. Frogs like flies in a diet croak. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Borg, you're coming with me. We are going to attempt something hard. Again. We're going to do another one of these maps. I have a writhing jar now. Which means that if I have a problem, I hit the button, and then I have an enemy to fight. I'm going to try to do this in, like, a systematic way. So that I don't run out of creatures. And make sure I don't go past anything either. We you can have you can have June missions in the midst of this shit? Don't I have enough problems? I don't have time to fight you! You know what? If they get away, they get away. That does that doesn't matter, I don't think. Ooh. Ooh.
Can you kill that, please? Thank you. This is a really dangerous map, I gotta say! Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Where the fuck am I? Wait, no, maybe I'm okay. Damn it. You know, I actually did pretty damn good there. This, this makes me wonder if I had to go into the laboratory, too, because I think the laboratory is part of the map, which would make this really bad. Last thing I want is to have to go into a, a syndicate laboratory. Man, that is a rough map, I gotta say. Okay, Forg. Relforg, you're gonna help me again? Let's go do a reliquary key, those are easy. I need your help, Relforg. Reliquary key. Okay, Forg, blessed be your name, I ask. That you give me your blessing so that I can experience great fortune through this. Thank you, Mr. Forg. Short bow. Ooh. And it is a quill rain. God damn it. <laughs> Well, it max rolled projectile speed, and it min rolled everything else. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna check it, but I don't think... I don't think a quill rain is valuable. No, it's like 5C. Oh, into the stash it goes. Oh, well. Okay, let's try another one of these dune maps. Do I have... How many do I have? Do I... Okay, I have two more. Before I go into some other scary maps. Okay. Blood shadows. Dunes. <laughs> Gonna do this. Gonna do this. We got very close last time. Okay. Go about where everything is. Because until I attack, I'm fine. Or until I kill something, I'm fine, technically. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Okay. 
Okay. Going okay so far. Come back up. Okay. Don't care if you hit me. No, I didn't kill the the worms fast enough. I dropped the writhing jar, but I didn't keep up with my totems was the problem. So that my totems weren't able to fat attack fast enough. Because they need a they need a time to like like queue up the spell and cast it. One more time. Honestly, I'm not finding this, like, the actual staying alive part to be hard. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some dangerous things here. Should be fine without this. Okay, I have two writhing jars now. Is there any last thing I could put on this that would be helpful? No, I'm just gonna have to uh, like hit them. I'm just gonna have to hit them naturally. Maybe you want like the strat for something like this is to gather everything together. Not like I'm in any danger right now. Unfortunately, some monsters are much faster than others. Like, the zombies are really slow. Probably doesn't hurt to check out where everything is in the map. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to open the essence mine. Everyone this way, please. I'm going to gather everyone from all the corners closer together. Why don't enemies attack until I attack first? They they do attack. I just kill them faster than they can really react. Cuz this build has vastly more damage than the average build. It's a very very this is a strong boss killer. Okay. I'm going to start on the top left. I have to kill this, so... Please, come on.
I also need to keep dropping totems even when there's no monsters nearby. Just in case that I need to drop a writhing jar to keep myself alive. Or in case they, like, snag something, like the very corner of something, that I needed them to kill to keep alive. Oh, there's some things that are just, like, frozen in place. And they're not, like, frozen-frozen. They just weren't moving. No, I didn't drop them fast enough! God, three seconds is bad! Oh. Am I? I think I'm out now. Yeah, I'm out of those. <laughs> that was like eight maps that I failed. Oh no. Oh god. I just need a short that just like how my Valdo's Rust maps are going and or Valdo's Puzzle Box maps are going and just a um, short of me just dying it repeatedly. <laughs> okay, so I have three more maps. These ones are different maps now. But first. We are going to do another Reliquary Key. Okay. Royal Forg? Wait. Okay, Royal Forg, I ask once again for your blessing and for your help. God save the Forg. A sword? Okay, Eternal Sword. I can't think of a single Eternal Sword that's valuable. <laughs> Oh, I recognize that one. That might actually be a rare exception. It's a dream feather. A... Eh, it's an okay roll dream feather. One more dream feather, dream feather. The replica is much more valuable. Oh! Oh, they started 30 or 40 C. These are actually valuable. It is kind of his color, isn't it? Well, maybe he was a bit more silvery. It is my royal sword feather. Ooh, I'm gonna hold on to that for now. I don't know how you want to sell it. It's so pretty. Okay. Onwards. Also, we've gambled, like, we've gambled a lot of money this stream. I mean, the first jam was 20 div, potentially. And we've gambled, uh, these are a little bit less than a div each. So we've gambled about two and a half divs so far worth of reliquary keys. 
And these maps are about 30 C a piece. So we've spent like a couple div worth of maps already too. Okay. So this is where things get interesting. Savage Range Tropical Island map. So this one is not this one is not a fast map. This one is a take it slow map. Areas contain smugglers' caches, which are guarded. All must be open to claim the reward. All non-unique equipment is drops as currency instead. Great. Contains three additional packs of four map bosses. So we'll have 13 map bosses instead of one. Players do not gain experience. Rare monsters have three additional modifiers. Maximum number of players is one. So this actually is probably the easiest map we'll, we'll have. Because we'll get six portals for this, too. No instability, none of that shit. Just a bunch of really tanky shit to deal with. Need to make sure to, like, clear as best I can. And remember that rare monsters can just, like, kill me very quickly because of their extra mods. Also, there's going to be a pack of map bosses. There's going to be three packs of map bosses somewhere. But be kind of careful that I, when I run into them. Ooh. That looked nasty for a second. Uh, I'll take the abysses. Come on, Forg. Stay with me and stay safe. You must stay close, because this place is scary and things might step on you. Oh. Oh, there's a map boss. That is the map boss from Racecourse. Oh, who's that? Is that Dresso? Master of something. Well. Oh, oh god, the Brian King's here. <laughs> the Sar Lion of the Seas. Oriath Virtue. Okay, so there was another boss there too that I I don't really know which one that was. Ooh. Oriath Virtue, whoever you are. Oh, that's the promenade boss. We're going to be kind of careful, though, because I don't know what we're going to get and, like, where we're going to get it. Okay, good. The map boss combos can be bad, but this is a good boss killer with the fact that I can permafreeze a lot of shit pretty easily. So, I just need to get rid of the ads, mostly. And then I can permafreeze a lot of shit. This is definitely the map I feel the most confident in. Oh! Did I just see Kaduku? Wait, who's that? Sanctum Enforcer. Oh, that's the Ivory Temple boss. Oh, leave me alone. Is that the Minotaur from Racecourse? I think so. Nope. Nope. That's from one of the quarry maps. Not not quarry. I forget which map that is. Ooh. That one nasty's over there. Ooh. Oh, it's the Blasphemer. The heavy curse guy. Be careful with him. Okay, that should be four bosses. There should be another pack of bosses, though. I haven't seen yet. There's Poporo from Hole. Weather the fuck out of him. Ugh. 
This might be my first successful Valdos. Don't don't wanna don't wanna jinx anything, but this might be my first successful Valdos. Why do I keep wanting to call it Valdos Rest? Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, fuck, it's the goddess Unchained. I hate her. Fucking orchard boss. Oh, no, it's the explodey guy. From the dig, not dig, from the, uh, like, the other underground map. Nope! Explosion. That was more dangerous in its actual map, though, because you're in a contained area. Nope. I have to deal with the goddess still. The goddess is my biggest concern, because she is the scariest. Thankfully, there's a lot of trees to break line of sight if I need to. Is that Mervale? Yep, yeah, that's Mervale. Oh, she teleported. Vision of Justice. Yeah, you're gonna have some trouble. There you go. Okay, that's the goddess down. Marvel should still be over here, though. Yep, there she is. And I'm gonna get lasered in a second. Yep, there's the laser. Oh, she's focused on the totems. Okay, that's good. Oh, she's focused on the totems. Shock and horror. There we go. I think that's from Primordial Pools, technically, but it is Marvel. Just a different version. Okay, I see Smuggler's Cache is coming up, so those will be guarded. Don't know by what. So they're basically strong boxes now. I'll clear the area first. I should have cleared all the map bosses should be gone now except for like the normal one. Okay, I should be fine now. I can just comfortably go and deal with these. Open and jump. Who is that? Oh, so these are the unique mobs that are from, like, actually in the uh, heist themselves. Oh, don't throw mines at me, please. That's cool to see them in maps. I'm going to set up my totems in advance this time. Yeah, that worked way better. I think I'm on the home stretch now. Ooh. Yeah. 
Okay, that's it. Our first Falls puzzle box complete. A foil ivory tower. Oh my gosh, it looks like there's... It's sparkling like there's stars on it. That's so pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Man. That is so pretty. That has got to be like one of the prettier Voidborn relics. And I really like the Voidborn stuff too. Okay, I'm going to look this up really quickly. Ivory Tower. Oh. Okay, so Voidborn ones not with, uh, not six linked. Un. Uncorrupted start to ADC. That's actually, this is actually really, really good. That is gorgeous. You know what? I think I think I could safely get a div from this. Ooh, it's got 65 mana too. Isn't that a lot? That is that is a pretty that's a fair bit. Not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. Like that's that is at least a div. Especially if you want the color in specific. I'm gonna put it for two just in case someone wants a specific color, because if you want like the fucking moon touch or whatever you want to call it. Like this is oh that's so pretty. I wouldn't sell it if I wasn't trying to get a mage blood. Ooh. Man, that was fun. Let's see why people like these. I mean, it's not like I dislike the Dunes ones, but I think I need to plan more to make those work. Okay, here's the next one. The next one's a really weird one. Monsters fire six additional projectiles, have plus six to maximum power charges, and gain a power charge on hit. So... Monsters shoot seven projectiles and have nine power charges. Okay, that's dangerous. The area contains packs of forks. We get 12 packs of frogs. Eight packs of untainted wild animals inhabited by porcupines and rare monsters have a chance to spawn a duplicate of the map boss on death. For a foil quill rain. Well, the quill rain's not worth anything, but I want to do it for the for like the challenge. Okay, Royal Forg, it is time for us to go see your subjects and murder them. Okay. Oh god. I have to be really careful, because some of this stuff could be really dangerous. I wonder how the plus six projectiles affects the porcupines, which already have a ton of projectiles when they die. Actually, wait, I'm immune to, to uh, porcupines. I have a freeze build. Forgot. Okay, well, that's not going to be very dangerous. The extra projectiles, though, from, like, anything that is even remotely strong will be a challenge, though. In fact, this the boss shoots a lot of projectiles, too. So, with rare monsters spawning a, a duplicate of the map boss, potentially, on death... That is a pretty big deal. Uh, 
Okay, that is the map boss right there. But I have it permafrozen, so... I fucking love this. I love this uh, build so much. Being able to just have a 100% guaranteed freeze on most things is amazing. I basically just rip apart any of the Breach Lords because they don't have any protection against freeze. Even Esh. Esh? Tell. It would be Tell who, who would be immune. throwing things. Is that the map boss? I think it's the map boss. Yep, it's the map boss. No! Oh, that hurt. Why did that hurt so much? I'm just watching them to see how it goes. Yeah. Looks like it. Those are scary. How many lives do I have? Is this limited? No, it's not. Okay, so I have... I have a number of lives. That's fine. I'll just have to kill the map boss like eight times. I mean, I already killed 13 map bosses the last map I did, so having to kill this a few extra times shouldn't be a problem. The biggest concern is that this was designed uh, with the idea that the map boss specifically uses a lot of projectiles, and they're dangerous ones. So I think the plus projectiles is actually supposed to make the map boss more dangerous. And the fact that you can summon the map boss constantly by killing rares is also meant is meant to just make the map more dangerous on its own. Because these maps aren't randomly generated. They're designed to have specific challenges in them. I have to be careful because, like, some of the frogs could be hiding, like, there could be, like, rarer frogs hiding in there. And if those die, then they'll spawn a map boss. <laughs> oh god, there's a rare right there. I have to be careful. It's only a 20% chance of spawning the map boss, but, I mean, if I get a map boss every five rares, it's still going to be dangerous. Oh, why is my determination not on? Oh god. Respawned. That is a really scary ability, whatever that is. Blood bombs. She's chalking. Right over there. Oh, there's a unique porcupine by them, too. That's not good. Okay. Should be okay. The biggest danger is that the map boss will just spawn beside me without realizing I've killed a rare. And then she'll just destroy me. Also, if I can avoid doing the Abyss, I'm going to try, because the Abyss spawns a ton of rares, and therefore it might spawn a ton of copies of the map boss, and that's the last thing I want. Okay, a bunch of frogs there. Be 
to be pretty close to the boss room now. Okay, temporal shield. Okay, another map boss spawned. Okay, they're down. Okay, binds. This feels more than a 20% chance for them to spawn, I have to say. I'm, like, worried that there's going to be a siren behind every corner, basically. You know what, let me just do, do away with the map boss. Up here, like, the actual intended map boss. Oh, god. At least they're easier to see if I can run them around in circles around. If I can keep her frozen, it's fine. Okay. I'm very lucky that none of those frogs were rares, because otherwise I could have spawned multiple map bosses in the stupid tiny boss chamber. And I can run around in circles around one, but two is much harder to avoid. No! No, no, no! Rare Devourers, okay. Oh god, Rare Devourers. I forgot they move, be move with you. Nope, okay. Probably some more down here, though. You can just barely see the frog, like, sitting in the carnage here. <laughs> Nope! Nope, fuck you. Yes, singular reliquary, I got it. I did that deathless, too. Ooh. Well, it's a pretty cool rain, if nothing else. It's not valuable, but it's pretty. It was a fun challenge, which is the more important thing to do. Max projectile speed, again. I don't know if that makes it good or not. Do I like one of these more than the other? Oh, these are basically the same thing. No, this is more- this one's more purpley and this one's more- I can keep the green one. I'll put the purpley one up for sale. Okay, so the last map I will do in a moment, because we are going to do another Reliquary Key soon. But first, we're going to take a short five-minute break. After that, we are going to get into some Reliquary Keys and our final map. A Mesa map with the Elder Slayers that is 100% Delirious. And Instability on Kale. Why did I buy this? That's awful. <laughs> okay. We'll be back in five. If I can... One second. My computer keeps locking up because awakened of awakened PoE trade. Something about how it 
covers other stuff is really bad for my computer for whatever reason. So I keep having to stop it with the uh, task manager. It's not even on anymore. It must be on somewhere. Whatever, I'll figure this problem out on break if I can go on to break. Yeah, we can. Okay. Welcome, welcome back, everyone. Hope everyone got up, stretched, etc. I got some more water. Okay. So we're going to try this Mesa map, but first we will wish upon a frog and do another Void One Relic or a key. King Frog, blessed be your name. Help me get something amazing. Oh. Uh, a foil cortex? Are... Would these not be the same value as a normal cortex? This is the first one that I've had absolutely no concept of what the price could possibly be. Oh, that's weird. Cool. I mean, Cortex are worth a fair bit to begin with. Okay, well... There are... Oil Cortex maps for 5 div. I don't know if they're gonna sell for that. This, this is really weird. How much? Double check. How much are? How much are Cortex normally again? Oh, it's because they're four div normally now. Okay. Well, okay. I guess I just made four div. That's fucking good. That just, that pays back all the keys immediately. That is awesome. That means this is at least four, if not five div. That is so awesome. Cool, okay. Well, I guess I'll just put up for five for now. Cool. Okay, now to do the crazy Mesa map. Okay. Non-unique equipment drops his currency. Players are assaulted by apparitions of the Elder. Area contains the Elder Slayers. Players in the area of 100% delirious. Area is inhabited by Katavis Heralds. Players gain instability on kill. Insta unstable characters eventually detonate. Okay, if I can, I'm gonna try to kill things one at a time so I don't have to, like, rush things. I don't know if killing things one at a time is even, like, realistic or reasonable. But, I'm gonna try.
This is the hardest Baldo's map I'll have ever done. Why are they taking, like, almost no damage? Oh, because this is 100% delirious, right. Okay, so killing multiple things at a time isn't going to happen anyways. I don't know whether I should be grateful or not. Oh yeah, I, I did... I took almost nothing from just one instability. That's fine. Oh god, there's a rare there. No? Oh, fuck. Well, that was the worst case scenario. I lost a portal due to a misclick. Fuck. Uh Nope, 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 let me alone. Let the inst instability go away. Oh god, where did they come from? Oh god, I have eight instability. Oh, no, that wasn't enough to kill me. I just need to clear out an area. If I can clear out an area, I will be much safer. No, I'm just drawing more stuff in. I want to draw more stuff in. Thirteen. I got hit with thirteen instability there. Okay, having the elder here is not helping either. Okay, I've kind of cleared an area now. I can drag things back into my area. And then take the instability damage. I want to take my instability in as few pieces as I can. Or. I want to take each individual instability hit if I can separately. This is a really slow way of doing things, but it is very effective. It will be the way I su succeed at this. Aw, that's sad to see, Pyro. Have a good night, though. And thank you so much for coming. This will- this- I'm sure this map will go up as a separate video, so... You will probably be able to see this anyways without having to rewatch the VOD. Weather the shit out of all that stuff. And then take the hit.
No, I'm not going in there, Wildwood. Done? Okay, good. I was worried that it would kill something before my instability refreshed. Or I was worried that it would refresh the cooldown on my instability, and I don't want it to do that. I want it to trigger small batches I can. Oh god, there's far too many things here right now. Ow. Oh, well, that's fine, that's fine, that's a small enough amount. Okay, I have far too many things happening right now, though. I really need to clear out some of this and retake my space, because they've taken it over again. Oh god, what was that? Mirror images, enrages as life loss, lightning and shock resistance, and a haste aura. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I can do this without pissing off too much stuff. Oh god, Baron's here! Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, go away, Baron! I'm having trouble dealing with white mobs! At least this arena is- this area is bigger than the Baron arena. Natively. Ow. Fuck you, Baron. One of the Elder Slayers. And the most dangerous one, in my opinion. What? I, I barely moved! Okay. Okay. Two lives left. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna move yet, because my bark skin needs to gain charges. Then I will move. Okay, now I can go. I need to remember to keep moving, because Baron is watching. Baron is watching you. Baron is angry. Okay, circle, strafe, circle, strafe, circle, strafe, circle, strafe, circle, strafe, circle, strafe. Wow, okay. Having Wither as a thing I cast is fucking useless. Because I can't stop to cast it. Ow. God damn it, Baron. I have over 10 million DPS, and I don't think I have enough to take down Baron at 100% Delirium. <sighs> okay. Okay, hey, who's over there? They're rare over there, too. Cost to Gorbon Death, tempor Temporal Proximity Shield, Extra Life, Conflagrating Path. That's actually not that dangerous. It's it's barren. That's the problem. And the other one, the other rare mob, is not good either. No, no. And that ends that map. We didn't even get out of the starting area. Fuck. That's brutal. Oh, okay. Let's do one last little bit of gambling for now. Have some cards to gamble. See if we get anything cool from these. Oh, that's not. Yeah. Now to gamble the reliquary key. 
Another reliquary key. Let's do this. Frog. Blessed be your name. Give me your royal blessing. God save the frog. <laughs> I don't even have to hover over that to know what that is. <laughs> That's a tabula. Oh, it's a pretty tabula, too. Golden one. God, that's pretty. I don't it don't think it's worth it's not gonna be worth anything like the cortex. It's probably not worth very much at all, but that is actually really awesome. Pretty tabula raza. Okay, I will check the price though, just cause, you know. Tabula Raza. Okay, so they start about about twenty C. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Oh yeah, I have a non shiny version. I'm getting replaced with the shiny version now. Here. Oh, gosh, okay. We have gotten a lot of things done today. These reliquary keys are also free, by the way, because we have the, uh, we got the Cortex. That Cortex at, at 4 div is enough to cover all the keys. So, let's gamble this free key. One last one. Frog, blessed be your name. Grant me luck. God save the fork. Um? That's an amulet! It's an onyx amulet. There's a lot of onyx amulets that are valuable. Holy fuck. Holy shit. That's an Ashes of the Stars. That's an Ashes of the Stars. It's gotta be. I think Frog blessed us. I think Frog blessed us. Oh my god, it's an Ashes of the Stars. Those are valuable when they're not. Um, uh, fucking whatever this is. Uh, shiny. Sorry, I'm overcome. Uh, <laughs> Ashes of the stars. Let's look this up. Shiny ones start at 2 div. That is not as much as I expected, but that's okay. Man, it's, Ashes of the stars is a really, really good gem, too. Or gem. Uh, piece of jewelry. Oh, so that's, that's about two div. That is really, really awesome. Oh my gosh, like, there's a lot of very valuable Onyx Amulets, and that's one of them. It's unfortunate that this is the league where Ash of the Stars is, like, at its cheapest, but... I mean, still, two div is great. I'll put it up for 1.9 div. God, it's so pretty. Maybe I should just keep it instead. You know what? No, I'm keeping it. I've, I have, I have never gone in Ashes of the Stars because they're usually prohibitively expensive. So this will be a first for me. 
it'll be added to my uh, permanent collection in standard. Because uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I have a permanent collection of uniques where I'm trying to collect every unique in the game. So this is one of the ones I need. And a shiny one at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous golden, uh, golden, golden god. Thank you so much, Frog. Lord Forg, your name is Blessed Be. Oh my gosh. This Forg has brought us so much bounty this stream. We are so lucky. I'm so blessed to have this Forg. Thank you, Ron, for your donation to bring him to us. We truly needed him in our lives. God save the Forg. I don't actually know what to do now. <laughs> we finished all of our keys, we finished all of our gambling, and we're out of all the maps. Well, about two hours in, it actually is probably a good time to end it. thinking there's anything else that's worth doing. Hmm. Let's do a short, like, 60-minute PAL World stream. We're gonna switch over to PAL World. For those who don't want to, uh... don't want to, uh, watch PAL World... Uh, well, you'll have to go away then. Because <laughs> Battle World's really fucking good. It's like Pokemon was done by a company who also liked Ark Survival, Conan Exiles, and Digimon. And even the combat's closer to Digimon than Pokemon. Okay, it's changing the stream title. And swapping games. Going into the intermission screen for a second. Actually, I should say before I before we go. For all those who watched today on YouTube, thank you so much. For those who watched the VOD, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of these VODs content, and thank you for watching.